Hi guys! In this video I'm going to show you a demonstration of an Arduino device and this is a device to control a WS2812 ARGB LED strip and there's uh, 10 uh, LED components uh, in the strip. Now on the left hand side you can see we've got two potentiometers and in a nutshell one of them will increase the speed of each of the LEDs, okay? So if I turn that clockwise, it will actually increase the speed. Also notice how the colors alternate from left to right. So we've got green, blue, purple, cyan, white, and red, and it just keeps looping on and on. Now, if I were to increase that, it will actually, yep, it increases in speed. Oh, be careful. We don't want uh, too much strobe lighting. Uh, and if we turn it anti-clockwise, it will slow down. Now, the potentiometer on the left-hand side will increase and decrease the brightness of the light. So if I turn that counterclockwise or anti-clockwise, yep, notice how it gets quite dim. And uh, I can slow that down, just like that. So we're using two potentiometers to increase the brightness and uh, the speed of these LED uh, patterns. Now, this is the Fritzing diagram. And what we have is the ARGB LED strip, and it's connected to digital pin 7 for the uh, digital in, the DIN. We're also using a 5 volt circuit, so we need to connect the breadboard. And we've got the two potentiometers, all right, and uh, each one is connected to an analog port. So for the light intensity, we connect it to analog A0, and for the speed of the LED lights we're using A2 right now here is the code sketch oh and by the way you can download the um, sketch as well as the fritzing diagram uh, just go to the description part of the YouTube video now let's uh, take a look at some of this so right here it says the number of LEDs we define the number of LEDs on the strip to be 10 uh, the data pin is 7 right and um, we also have certain variables for the uh, intensity. That means the light brightness and uh, the speed. So um, we assign that to pin A0 and A2 for the analog uh, ports. And uh, we also have to set the array. I don't want to get into too much detail about this, but if we go through the sketch, you can see we have all of these different functions uh, for different colors. Now, it's probably not... there's. It's probably not the best way to uh, write this code because a lot of this code is actually repeated. I'm sure there's a far better way of doing it and I will I will get it done eventually. Uh, but each part uh, is for a different color. So we've got the green LED, the red LED, the blue LED. Yeah, we're setting the, uh, the colors. Okay, so for each of the uh, LED elements, we have to uh, set the color so that it becomes blue. And in order for us, like say, in order for this to be blue, we have to, uh, you know, we have to set the blue and we set the other colors uh, to be zero. Okay, and uh, different colors will have different uh, combinations. So intensity, intensity, zero, zero intensity, intensity, right? And that's the, uh, the brightness, okay? And that goes all the way to white, all right? And uh, what I've done is uh, in the code, uh, in the loop part, I've just, uh, I got the red, yellow, green, blue, purple, cyan, and white just kind of looping, okay? And I've also set it so that when you turn the potentiometer a certain way, uh, it will uh, increase the intensity and it will also increase the speed, okay? So if you take a look here, right? So for the intensity and for the speed, Right, so uh, it will read from the speed pin and from the intensity pin, that's uh, A2 and A0, respectively. Right, okay. So for this part of the video, I thought it would be nice as a bonus to show you how we go about connecting the ARGB LED strip, which I'll get out in just a moment, to the Arduino Uno device. So that's the basic device on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, we've got uh, some uh, jump stroke DuPont wires, we've got some duct tape, uh, and we've got a pair of scissors, and I'll show you uh, what that's going to be used for in just a moment. We don't need to use all of these wires, I think we just want three of them, and you'll see why we have it in a moment. Now, um, this is the ARGB 
uh, connector and you can actually open this part and what you do is you open this bit and you connect the wires as well as connecting your strip there and it's easier to connect uh, you can sort of like daisy chain a whole load of uh, um, ARGB strips together with this device but you can also connect some of these wires to this and connect it to the board now I understand you know you can actually buy connectors that are specifically for Arduino uh, Uno boards or what have you but anyway I just need to improvise because I've only got these right. now this this is a reel of WS2812 uh, LEDs okay so there's a whole lot of them now, I only need about 10 of them, so you can just uh, unravel. So you just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I mean, you could use more, but that's fine, okay. And if you need to add more and you want to, uh, you'll have to go back to your sketch and you'll have to change the number of LEDs from 10 to a bigger number. Right, uh, but in this example, I'm just going to use 10. So again, you just want to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just, we'll use 12. It's fine. All right, so what you do is you just cut there, just like that. Okay, and then we can simply just put that reel away because we don't need that. And then what we do is we get this and uh, you notice it's got all those different colors so you've got white yellow and red okay so white is the ground the, the uh, uh, and the red is like VCC positive and the white is like ground negative you could use a screwdriver just to kind of lift these up or you could use your fingers right and then just grab this make sure you align the ground to the white and the 5 volts to the red and then just get that in there okay and you can push these down or what you do is you just simply lock it in place like that okay make sure it uh, locks securely okay and that's pr that's pretty much that right now the next part is how are you going to connect that to the arduino uno board well one way that i do it is um if i take uh from the the DuPont strap. I could take uh, take a black wire, or you could use a white wire. It doesn't matter, but I tend to use black. All right. Uh, get yourself a red wire. So ju we're just pulling this off, and also get yourself a what's the other color? The yellow wire. All right. So and then these can be for spare for some other projects in the future. Now what we do is we want to align the yellow and the red and the white. Oh, and the black more like. Okay, so we do that. So we align all of this together. Right, and then what we want to do is we want to get some uh, duct tape and we want to just duct tape that. Uh, so it's easier to fit in there. Okay, because it's all, it's all together. Now what we could do, we'll just borrow this uh, breadboard just for a bit. And we'll just put it in there. And... Uh, that's only temporary. We just want a place to uh, plug it in so that we can apply the tape a lot easier. Now, just grab some tape and uh, yeah, just uh, cut a piece off and we'll put that aside. All right, we're just just going to trim the uh, tape. It's quite it's quite thick, so we want to trim it trim it down a bit. Okay, and now just uh, wrap it around there. Okay, and then just. Yep, just wrap that tape, just stick it there, and then you can just, just take it off, and uh, yeah, that's that's what we want, right, and then just wrap the tape around, right, there we go, and uh, these three bits, one of these will go into pin 7, uh, digital pin 7, and uh, these two will go into the 5 volt and the um, ground or the positive and the negative rail of the breadboard, which we'll do in just a moment. But uh, first we want to connect this. So we take this, take the other end and unlock it. You want to open this up and you want to shove that in there. So what we do is remember to uh, attach the black to the white, yellow to yellow and red to red. So we want to 
get that under. And if it's not going in, just uh, either use your fingers or use a screwdriver. Okay. okay, and then just, yeah, just get that in. Admittedly, this is not the best way, but it's the, well, it, overall, it's not the best way, but this is probably the best I'm going to have, at least until I get the proper wires. And then once that's uh, in place, you just cl just lock that in place and, uh, yeah, just don't pull it really hard, that's all. But that should hold it in uh, place. And now we should be able to take this. Now, the sketch code's already inside the board, so we don't need to worry about re-uploading and stuff. So we don't even need to hook it up to the computer, just the battery will do. And we want to get that yellow wire into digital pin 7. And uh, yellow and, excuse me, red and black wires go into the positive and negative rails, respectively. So just uh, find a place to shove that in. Right, let's put that there and put that there. And, okay, let's see... We'll give that a try and let's see what happens. Now, if I uh, just grab my battery, USB power bank, whatever, whatever you choose, and just uh, plug that in and there we go. Wow, there you go. Now, notice uh, the sketch. Well, if, actually not notice, but if you remember the sketch, it uh, the LEDs were set to 10. So this will only go up to 10 LEDs. Right, so it's actually omitting these uh, two LEDs right there, okay? And of course, uh, we can increase the intensity or the brightness, and we can also increase the speed, just like that. So there we go, it's a little demonstration. So thank you so much for watching. And again, if you want to download all the code and download the fritzing diagram, just go into the description section of the YouTube video. And if you've got any problems, just message me or get in touch with me, whatever you need to do. So thanks, guys, and uh, we'll see you again soon. So take care and goodbye.